guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a somewhat dramatic makeup that you guys requested. I put this little video on my Instagram and you guys really liked it, it was really sweet, thank you. I asked if you wanted a tutorial on it because it's super simple and straight off the bat I'm going to say this look is hugely inspired by Bailey Sarian's video, I'll tag it below, but it's a little bit of an older video she did, the most amazing 60s makeup. I was inspired by that, I kind of changed up the colours and stuff, but yeah, I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys here as well. So I'm going to shoot off and do one of my eyes first, then we're going to zoom you in and we're going to get the other eye done on camera because I don't know if I can do it. And I'm really tired. I don't know if any of you guys live in a seasonal place and by that I mean you get strong, hot and heavy seasons. Uh, it's proper winter right now in Scotland and I cannot get out of my bed. I don't want to get out of my bed. I don't want to leave my house. All I want to do is have baths. But we're gonna wake up and do some makeup. <laughs> I managed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom you in and let's do the other eye. Okay, I just wanted to do the eyes first for this look, just in case I got much fallout, but I actually didn't. It looks dramatic, it's actually really simple. Like, I find doing this easier than a cut crease. So we're going to start with the NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer, and we're going to use that all over the lid to cover up our lack of sleep. I'm going to pat that out, and that's just going to be our first base. I've used this as a base for my eyeshadow for ages now. Oh, do you know, it's when you're doing your eye makeup, you can tell when you're getting old because my eyelids are not what they used to be. The next thing you're going to do is just go in with any black eyeshadow. So just pick your favourite black eyeshadow and you're going to need a tiny little detail brush. So this is a Smith 203 brush. Really, really teeny tiny angle brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw out the line first. And the easiest way that I find doing this, and this is from watching Bailey's video, which I've linked down below, is by just looking straight ahead. Just start to trace out where we're putting the line. I do a thin line first and then we thicken it up. The easiest way to do this is by looking straight ahead so you can see exactly where your natural crease falls because you're going to want to put it above it. And then at the end, it's up to you how much you want to lift the eye or sculpt the eye. I kind of almost did it quite downwards today. Uh, no reason, it just went like that. So I'm going to try and copy the other side. And then I've got a mirror right here so I can look in that and see how we're getting on before we start thickening it up. This just takes a little bit of time. Back in with your black and we're going to start to thicken that up. And I think the reason I like doing it with eyeshadow is because I know it's always going to go in smoothly. I can build it up. It's easy to clean up with the next base I use. I can tidy up the lines. And because this black's really pigmented, you do kind of almost get the same effect as if you'd used a liner, but it's just a little bit less scary. And having a great brush is really important. And it's just loads of looking down and getting thickness right on both sides. I think that's looking pretty good. There's a couple of lines in here that I'm not happy with, but I'm going to clean that up anyway. So I'm going to go in with the P. Louise in Mitchell Base. This is in the shade Blank Canvas. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand, and we're just going to apply this on the lid portion of the makeup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little mirror again, and this is what I'm going to use to clean up my lines. So in here, I want to clean that up. That way you can get a nice crisp line. And we're gonna use this base all over the lid as well, just so the shadows on the lid look super pigmented. So when you get to this stage, this is what I love about this look, is you can do anything you want. You can make your lid blue, like Bailey's video. She did a beautiful kind of periwinkle blue. You can do bright yellow. This is what I've done, which is yellow, but it's more kind of goldy, perfect for all your Christmas parties. I just really like this. I think it's really wearable as well, but you could go mental. You could use whatever color you wanted. And then I'm going to go in with the Naked Honey palette. So this is what I've been kind of obsessed with just now. And I'm going to go in with the shade Swarm first. This one right here, the kind of brightest yellow in the palette. And we're going to just really carefully place that. And I'm leaving the centre free of products. We're going to do shimmer. And then we're going to go in with the shade Honey. It's really nice. To get that extra sparkle, we're going to spray that with some Urban Decay Setting Spray. I do that with pretty much all the shimmers I use. And that's where you get the proper pop of yellow. It's so gorgeous. Just doing that right up to the black. Careful not to go on the black too much anyway. We can always clean it up. So there you go. You can see 
we're getting that color. And then what I'm gonna do, see for the extra sparkle, this is, I use these on so many of my looks, but this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Starfire. And I'm just gonna chuck that on pretty much, mostly in the center, but quite a lot all over. And because we've drawn our crease on nice and high, your glitter's not gonna crease in the black, which is great. And then one of my favorite little tips with these is to go in with a fluffy brush and just pat it out. And that way you kind of get a little bit more blended glitter, if that makes sense. There's no chunky bits sitting on the eye and it also dries a lot faster. For liner, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Pro Tip Eyeliner Pen. It's really good, really, really nice. And I'm just gonna do, you can see, it's a, it's a modest flick, a modest wing. And it's quite good because you can aim your wing towards the end of the kind of cut crease that we've done. For lashes, one of my favourite things to do right now, and I'm doing it a lot, is I'm going to go in with my Tatty lashes in the style TL3. And I actually have been just cutting them in half pretty much, so I'm really used to cutting lashes. Oh, Gino has started shedding, by the way, so that's fun. Double the dog hairs to get on my face. And I'm going to use my favourite green duo glue, the brush on glue. I actually think the Tatty Lashes glue is the same, but I just have so many of these to get through. And then while we're waiting for that lash to dry, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Roller Lash on the top lashes. I really like this eye makeup. I think it's quite fun. And I like it because it's not like a perfect cut crease. It's quite, I don't know, it's quite true to the era, I would say. I'm going to go in with the Stila Smudge Kajal Liner, but this is actually the bright one for your waterline. I really love it. And I'm going to go in my waterline. And that again is very true to the era. A lot of people used white in their waterline, but this is a nude, so it's a little bit more kind of complimentary. While I'm waiting on my lash to dry still, I'm gonna go on my bottom lashes. We're gonna keep it really light on the bottom lash. No smoky under eye today. No, sir. Okay, let's stick this little lash on. Some of you guys might not like it, and that's totally fine. You can use a full lash, but I just think it adds drama on the outer corner, which is my favorite. You guys know I say this every video. I just want my eyes to look more kind of pulled out, Bigger, longer, not so round, you know what I mean. I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colours, and this is the Desi and Katie collection, the highlighter in the shade Fuego. Uh, and I'm just gonna use this to highlight my brow bone, and I'm also gonna use that to highlight my inner corner, which I think just brightens everything up and gives the black cut crease something to attach to. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go in with the black again, and we're just gonna make sure that everything is nice and tidy and dark, there's just a couple of bits that I need to build up. Let's zoom you out and do our skin. <laughs> Super simple skin. I'm gonna use the Becca Priming Filter, the Backlight Priming Filter. I'm pretty obsessed with this. And I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and just apply that all over my skin. It just gives the most radiant base. And I love having no nails, it's great. Like I've got a wee red face after doing that. Now we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm gonna take two pumps of that in the back of my hand. I'm just gonna buff that in with my Smith 115 brush, my favorite. And this is my favorite step of makeup when you do your eyes first, because the eyes immediately just look way better than they did. And this foundation, I use it all the time. I think I've got like my four favorite foundations and this is one of them. Really nice for this time of year. I don't usually have dry skin, but I've had really dry skin lately. So this is just really hydrating, but nice coverage still. So I'm just going in with my beauty blender now, just to make sure everything's really nice and blended. And again, this is one of those looks where the eyes are the focus. So. The skin we want to be gorgeous, but not too distracting. I'm gonna go back in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. And I'm just gonna use this in all the usual spots. I love using it down the center of my face. Put a little bit, woo, all over. And we're gonna pat that out. Now I'm gonna go in with sheer layers of my Hoola Caramel. And we're gonna start to sculpt the face and bronze up just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I say that now. I probably will go in with a lot more bronzer. And I'm just using my Smith 118 brush. I just love these brushes so much. If you guys have ever thought about investing in these brushes, loads of the brushes that I use still today, I've had for years. They're like proper artist brushes. They don't just like break on you. They're the best and I wash them. Like I've been washing them that whole time. Maybe not the whole time. <laughs> you see that, just a bit of sun, you know? For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Katie Daisy Dose of Colours Fuego. 
fuego. I'm just gonna use that on the tops of my cheeks. And I like to use this above my brow as well, especially in the winter months, my skin is just not as dewy as I'd like it to be. It is not thriving. I'm gonna go in with my little brush as well and I'm gonna just tin man my nose. Bing, 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 bing. I need a little bit of colour in my cheeks and this is my new fave thing. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Cloud Paint. A little bit on the back of my hand. This is dark, so you'll need a little bit. And this is in the colour Haze, so you can see how dark it is. And what I do, it's so similar to what Mitchell did on my cheeks with the P. Louise base. You see that? I actually used all that colour there. I love using it with a big beauty blender because you can kind of tap it out the back of your hand and then it just applies in really nice sheer layers. You can build it right up, but I think that's really, really cute. And I love blusher right now. And as far as powder goes, again, winter months, my skin is dry. Just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury powder, the Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade number two. A little bit of that under the eyes just to set the concealer and a little bit on the forehead and around the mouth. I'm gonna zoom you back in and we'll finish off our brows and then we'll do our lips and then we're done. Okay, there you can see the skin close up. It is great. For my brows, super easy. We're gonna go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and a little bit of 24 hour brow setter and a little bit of gummy brow. These three are all I need on a daily basis. I do love cabrow a lot, but I really like a natural full brow these days. I think it's because I'm maturing. So I'm just gonna go in with the pencil to define the arch. Add a little bit of depth to the kind of body of the brow as well. That's honestly enough for me these days. I just need something. Plus, I've said this before, but when I'm doing a kind of eye look like this, I don't want my eyebrows to be distracting. I just want the eye look to be the main feature. I think it's quite true to the time as well. No one had super defined brows. I think they were quite 60s brows, bushy, twiggy brows. Does she have eyebrows? And then I'm going to go in with the Gummy Brow Plus as well, which is just going to thicken up the eyebrow, give it a little bit more fluffiness as well and a little bit more depth. Just going to use my Benefit Roller Liner in brown, as always, to fill in my little freckle. Okay, zoom me out and we'll do our lips. So for this look, we're going to do a big nude lip. Just going to remove the foundation on my lips. And to line my lips, I'm going to use the Colourpop and Shayla collaboration in the shade BFF3. And I'm just going to... Lay my lips like normal. And I always bring my lip liner onto my top lip as well, just to darken it a little bit. And I'm really sorry, but a lot of you guys still have it. A lot of you guys are running out now, and a lot of you guys have run out already, which I'm really sorry about. But I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick that I made, which is just such a good nude. I'm gonna pat that out with my finger like normal. And I'm gonna set my face with my all nighter. Ta da! Cool, isn't it? It's a little bit of fun. As a little thank you to you guys, uh, especially the ones that have lasted this long in the tutorial, I actually have another Naked Honey. This one is untouched. It was really kindly gifted to me when I was with Urban Decay last week. And I thought that I could give it to one of you guys. So all you have to do to enter my little competition is subscribe to me, please like this video and leave a little comment with your details, how to reach you and leave a little comment, something that you like about yourself. There we go. Why don't we have some positivity today? Some self empowerment. I'm a bad bitch and I love myself. Some of that kind of attitude, okay? So that's all you have to do. And I'll leave the competition open for 48 hours. So let's say it finishes on Saturday night. Today's Thursday night, it ends on Saturday night. I'll put some details down in the comments if you can't understand my accent and also just so you have it so you know. But yeah, subscribe to me, like this video and comment below with a way to reach you and also something that you like about yourself. I'll start. I like my eyelids. I think that I've got big eyelids so I've got room to play on them and I'm really grateful, very happy. I hope you really like this video. I will leave everything that I used down below and other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. This is what I'm doing now with no nails. <laughs> it's gonna be hard filming. Hmm, interesting. But I actually think so. Mm, never mind. <laughs> so that way you can get a nice crisp, crisp. You can get a nice crisp line <laughs> in the style. In the style. I think it's in the shade nude. It's in the shade nude. 
should have known that. No ready, no blasted letters today, no sir. The skin we want to be gorgeous, but not too distracting. Look at that vein on my head. So I'm just gonna use my shirt. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh oh, that had eyeshadow on it. So I've got a golden eyebrow. That's fine. Leave this here. See ya.